In this video, uh, we will go over how to construct a congruent line segment using GeoGebra. To start with, we are going to turn off this grid because that's not helpful. So I'm going to turn off Show Axes and then I'm going to go into Show Grid. I'm going to say No Grid because we're not really working in coordinate geometry here. We're working with a blank piece of paper. So now that I have a blank field to work on, I'll start by just constructing any segment, any segment I want. I'll pick a point, there's A, there's B, there's my segment. And then I'm going to need a point that will be part of my congruent segment and that isn't on AB. It, it could be on AB, but that gets ugly, let's not. So I will stick it here. It's point C. I could put it wherever I want. And now what I need to do, I need to get something that's the same length as A to B, but that starts at C. And to do that, I'm going to need to go over to the compass tool, which is all the way down here, compass tool. And this, first I say I'd like to set my compass to this radius, so that's like putting the two points of the compass, one on A and one on B, and then I say, and I'd like to actually swing that now that I've got it measured from C. So now I have something that has a radius the same as A and B that's a circle. So now I can take any point D that's on that circle, so I go back to point, and I make sure that I have the little finger so that I can see that I am touching the circle it doesn't matter where it is, I can put it anywhere I want on that circle, point D. And then I can use my segment tool, connect those points, and I have a new segment that is congruent to that first segment. And I know it's congruent because each of them measures the length of the radius of that circle. 